what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm chef and i want to say welcome and thank you for clicking onto this video for those of you who are returning welcome back in today's video as you can see i am stuffing my cash envelope for paycheck number two so the sheet that you see here is a cash envelope breakdown sheet that i normally use before going to the bank because the worst thing you want to do is not know exactly how many bills you need before going to the bank. You don't want to get in front of the teller and then realize like, oh, um, I think I need a $100 bill. I think I need a $50 bill. So beforehand, always make sure you know exactly how many bills you need. Go ahead and double check that the amounts here are correct. 100 plus 180 plus 40 plus 20 plus one. So yeah, that's a total of $341. So that is correct. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way to the bank now and I'll see you guys in a second. Before I get started really quick, I want to, I want to show you guys, I did go ahead and order more, um, more envelopes from the company you guys seen the company last time that i ordered from on etsy um the shop so these are my um other envelopes and i got them in this color because i'm going to be using this binder here for my sinking funds like I said before, these are much larger, so I feel like I can hold way more money into, uh, I feel like I can hold way more money into these envelopes. All right, so let's get into stuffing these envelopes. Let me go ahead and get my, these are the cash envelopes that I keep in my purse. So let me go ahead and take this out really quick. For groceries, I have um, spent $60 of the $100 that I used already. So um, I'm going to add $40 to this envelope. Fuel is $40. I'm going to go ahead and add. And whatever, like I mentioned before in my last video, if whatever's left over from my cash envelopes, again, that's going straight into my savings. So I'm going to save that. It doesn't make any sense of, you know, spending extra money if you really don't have to, you know. So allowance is $50. Not adding anything into beauty right now for beauty i still have three dollars left over so i'm just gonna leave that in there now i'm gonna go ahead and stuff my sinking funds these are my old cash my old sinking funds um, envelopes but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna transfer the money from there um into the new envelopes that i have so this one is a uh, business I am going to add the business one. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these old envelopes. If someone who's watching may want these cash envelopes, I'll send them to you um, for free. If not, I'm just gonna probably just toss them. The amount that I'm adding is $20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 61. And then for birthday, um, I'm going to take this out and I'm just going to toss this because I don't need that anymore. I have these 
sheets here. So birthday, I have two, four, six, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So for birthday, I have $170. So you see what I'm saying? You see how the bills are getting kind of thick? This envelope is like perfect for this. I'm adding $10 to medical and I'm at $25 now. The next envelope that I have is uh, my, my dog's envelope for my dog is $20. 30, 40, 50. Next envelope I have is car tags. Car tags is, of course, for my registration. Uh, my registration is due in November. So with me putting in $22 a month, that by the by November, uh, I think it's 15th or so, my car tax, uh, that should be enough for my car tax. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109. Car maintenance is next on my list. So I'm going to take out the cash from there. Toss this. Make sure I got all the cash out of there <laughs> before I toss it. Okay. So car maintenance is $30, so a, no, yeah. Car maintenance is a 20 and a 10. So that's $140. So the next category that I have is uh, my son. I am going to be adding, instead of using this back to school, since I already know that this is for my son, I will be just using this envelope for him. Two, four, six, eight, 100, two, Six, eight. So I have now $180. And you know, even though this may seem like it's not a lot, I mean, by the time back to school rolls around, at least you don't have to, if your budget is $500 for your child or for your children to go back to school shopping, at least you will already have a portion, you know, of that money already set aside so that you don't have to um come out the pocket with so much at once all right and so for my 40th i'm adding 25 dollars to this sinking fund let's see two four six eight one two three four five sixty 65, 70, 75. So I have 175.
And then I have um, these envelopes over here. I have these envelopes here. I still haven't went and deposited these into the um, into the bank, but these are my savings challenges that I did for January, February, and March. So I have to go and make the deposit for that.